Hi, in this video, we're looking at conditional statement, the if and the if else. So looking at the pseudocode, if condition, then statement one. Sometimes we may have more than one statement in the then part, then we would say if condition, then begin, and we can have as many statements as we want, and then we can couple that up with a begin and an end. Pseudocode, if condition, then statement one, else another statement. Please note the semicolon in Delphi, not in the pseudocode, will be at the end of the else. Let's look at some conditions. The pseudocode, we would say if num greater than 10, it is the same in Delphi. If num equal to 10, we have the same in Delphi. If num not equal to 10 in Delphi, we would use a less than and a greater than, combine them, indicating not equal to. If num modulus 2 is equal to 0 in Delphi, we would use the word mod. And if you're wondering what is mod, mod is a keyword that gives the remainder when we divide. In this case, we will get the remainder when the number is divided by 2. Example, 10 mod 2 will give you a remainder of 0. But 9 mod 2 will give you a remainder of 1. Looking at a pseudocode for a mark above 80, if mark is greater than 80, then output well done, else output you can improve. Quite a high standard there. Let's look at our first problem. Input a student's percentage for a test. Output if the student obtained AA or not. The pseudocode for that will be input the mark. If mark is greater than 80, then output A, else output, sorry, A not achieved. Looking at another problem, input a student's mark for a test. Input the total of the test. Calculate and output the student's percent and whether the student passed or failed. If we look at the pseudocode for this problem, input mark, input the total. To work with the percent, we take the mark, divide by total times 100, output the percent. If the percent is greater than or equal to 40, then output passed, else output failed. We are assuming that the pass mark is 40%. Okay, if we open Delphi, you'll notice that I have a GUI already set up. I've got an edit box. The name is EDT mark. I've got a panel, PNL output, and I have a button. So we're going to quickly program this button. And the first thing I'm going to do is declare my variable, VAR mark which is of type integer and control to d to align it so i need to take in the mark from the edit box mark is assigned i'm going to convert it to an int using string to int and we're going to say edt mark dot text so we are taking the mark from the text box and converting it into an integer and then we're going to use a condition to check that mark and say if mark is greater than 80, then we're going to output and we're using a panel, so PNL control space dot caption is assigned. And we're going to say, well done. And we can say, okay, the student had an A. We're just going to add to that. So I'm going to change the condition now to greater and equal to 80, as that will be an A. One single quote there. And we don't need a semicolon, as I'm going to use the else. If that is not true, in my else part, I'm going to use the panel again panel option panel output which is assigned 
sorry, dot caption is assigned, and we can give a message not an A. We're not all sure what symbol, so we're just going to say not an A. So certain things I want to point out, if mark is greater than or equal to 80, then we are putting well done, it's an A symbol, else we are putting not an A. You will notice that the semicolon is at the end of the if statement. Now, when you type in if, you can use control space and it will give you the options of the different types of if statement. If you want an if or an else, you would choose that and immediately you'll get the if, then else, so the entire structure is set out for you. Or you can just type it in with one statement at a time. So I'm going to run this program now and hopefully it will work. So you notice my panel has come up and I'm seeing it on my, I've got a split screen here.